between. Let's do another division problem. Now this is set up like a rational expression, but we can still do division. And if I do the synthetic division, I first need to identify my k. So when I, when I set this up, we know what I'm going to have here. So I have my k. Notice that what you're dividing into starts off with an x squared term. Then after that comes x, and then a constant. One of the things you must absolutely know here is that you can't skip terms. Which means that if I just had this guy, if I had 2x squared plus 6, is there an x term if I cover that up? No, but you would still have to account for that here. So if there were no x term, what would its coefficient be? Zero. Zero. So you have to put in placeholders if somebody is missing. Is that cool? Yeah. If, if you have, you have to start with your highest degree. If your highest degree was 4, you have x to the 4th, x to the 3rd, x squared, x, and then your constant. If one of those guys is missing, you put a 0 in its place. What is your k value here? 2. So you see a minus 2, so your k is a positive 2. What's the coefficient for x squared? 2. x? Negative 7, and the constant is 6. I'm going to go ahead and put a little box here. What's this box for? Zero. The box it is for your remainder. These numbers you get here will be the coefficients for x, and it will be your constant term. Now let's see if we can remember how we did this. The 2 comes all the way on the outside first. So here's the 2. Then what do you do? So you multiply and you get 4. Then you add this and you get negative 3. You keep going. Remember, it's multiplying times the k. 2 times negative 3 is what? So I multiply it here. I add here and I get a remainder of 0. So that tells me that this division is equal to what? How would you write your answer? 2x minus 3. You would say 2x minus 3. No remainder, is there? No. Right, so let's make sure we write that because these are going to be good notes for you to understand because so much of this stuff is connected and woven together. So here's what we can say. Since the remainder is 0, that means that x minus 2 is a factor of the polynomial 2x squared minus 7x plus 6. Do you all believe that? Okay. Fantastic. So make sure you know what that means. If your remainder is 0, then it's a factor.